Hey guys, Lolu here. Since Windows 7 support is ending on January 14th, 2020, I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, upgrade this computer to a newer operating system like Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. So, this is the HP Pavilion DV5120 US Notebook PC. This was my dad's old computer. He bought this computer when I was a baby. He got this around 2005. But then it started becoming slow after like like uh ten years ten or eleven years. In twenty sixteen my dad switched to a Windows ten computer. You know let's open this bad boy up. And let's power it on. This has a fifteen point four inch widescreen display. This originally came with Windows XP Service Pack 2. But my dad, but in 2014, my dad installed put Windows 7 Service Pack 1 on here, Windows 7 on Basic, 32 bit Service Pack 1. And it was slow on that operating system. In 2016, I upgraded this to Windows 10, but this was slow in Windows 10. Yeah. In 2011, I got my first laptop. It came with Windows 7 Home Premium 64 with, with without Service Pack 1. Yeah. And my, the same year my mom my mom got her first um uh, HP laptop in 2011 too. I had a Sony Vile Tower Tower PC. I it came with Windows XP Home Edition with no service packs, but I put Windows XP Professional Service Pack three on there. But and after that, I put Windows Seven Ultimate Service Pack one on there, and that was really so that machine wasn't designed for Windows Seven. It's not even designed for Windows Ten, so that's why I don't have it anymore. So. Let's go and take a look at the desktop. Why? Icons on the desktop. It says no battery detected, but whatever. Here you go. Let's go to the start. Let's go to all programs. And let's go to Windows Update to see if there are any updates available. Oh, now it's going. I'm upgrading this computer to Windows 10. In 2017, I upgraded my Toshiba laptop to Windows 10, but it was running really slow, so that's why I don't have it anymore. I recycled it. I had a, I had a Toshiba laptop, but I recycled it in 2018. Yeah, last month, December 2019, I reinstalled Windows 7 Home Basics Service Pack 1 32-bit. Oh, it's all important updates for your computer. One important update is available. Service Pack 2 for Microsoft Office 2010, 32-bit edition. So let's click OK. Let's click Install Updates. This is going to install updates, so I'll be back as soon as this I mean, while the updates are installing, I just wanted to let you know that all versions of Windows 7 was released in October 2009. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm also going to be comparing all versions of when one final video about Windows 7 of comparing all versions of Windows 7 but you'll be seeing those in later videos I'm going to be comparing Windows 7 Star versus Home Basic versus Home Home Premium in one video and Windows 7 Professional and Ultimate in the other the re only reason the reason I'm not doing Windows 7 Enterprise is because I don't have an installation disk for Windows 7 Enterprise yeah so I'll yeah I'll be back as soon as this, this is done updating 
Unfortunately, the update failed, so I, I just want to talk about something. The initial build for Windows 7 Service Pack 1 was released in early 2011. So, this computer is running Windows 7. Home preview, as I said before. Retrieving system reading. What? Oh, now it says 2.4. The graphics is 2.4. Processor is 3.4. Memory is 4.1. Graphics is 2.4. Gaming graphics is 3.1. And hard disk is 4.2. For default, Windows 7 came with Internet Explorer 8. But it can be updated to the latest and greatest version called Internet Explorer 11. So let's quick check for updates to see if there's any updates available. If since this, if this is done checking for updates, I will be back. It, it install updates for your computer. Two important updates are available. See, service pack two for Microsoft Office 2010 and security intelligence update for Microsoft Security and Essentials. For some reason, this update keeps failing. I don't know why, but let's just download this one. As soon oh. Windows is currently in the side another episode. Let's try again in a few minutes. So I'll be back in a So now I'm ready to upgrade to Windows 10 this computer and this computer should run for the net this computer should run for um, the next the next 10 years. So let's see. You don't have to upgrade to Windows 10. You can upgrade, to, but Microsoft recommends upgrade to Windows 10. While it's possible to install Windows 10 on an old PC, it's not recommended personally. I don't recommend either, but I'm doing it anyway. Windows 8. You can upgrade to Windows 8.1 as well, but Windows 8.1 will support and relatively soon, on January 10th, 2023. So you still have three years to go. So you still have time. And focus camera. When Windows Seven came out, the default programs were Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, and Windows Media Player. Google Chrome is there because I installed it and put it in the taskbar. There was a promotional free upgrade offer to Windows 10, but that offer ended on July 29th of 2016. The, the Windows 10 customers who use the scissor technologies, that offer it, in two years ago was postponed from December 31st, 2017 to January 16th, 2018. Now let's start the upgrade. It's gonna go. As soon as this is done, oh, as soon as this is done, prepare. It's it's preparing. I've all decided Dell Optiplex GX280. It came with self Windows 7 on there, but that I think that I don't think it was the original operating system that computers manufactured in 2004. 
So it came with Windows XP installed on there. It came with, it was installed with Windows 7, but it, it was also great. It graded to Windows 10 in late 2015. I the first time I upgraded my HP laptop was in early 2016. They moved with my mom's um HP laptop, but that one was also recycled. I'll be back as soon as this is done preparing. I mean no, let's just stay here until it's done preparing. This one, I didn't use the original version of Windows 10. I use the latest one right now, which is November 2019 update. Install Windows 10. I want to okay, I'll put this here so Windows better. Next, getting updates, checking for updates. I'll be back as soon as this is done. Says we're getting a few things ready. It was checking the PC at first, but I decided not to record that. So it says we're getting a few things ready. Even the Windows 7 support is ending. Microsoft Security Essentials will still live on. Support for Windows 7 RTM with no service packs ended on April 9th of 2013. So, you must upgrade to Windows 8.1 or better yet, upgrade to Windows 10 to continue receiving updates and support. Support for the original Windows 8 ended on January 12, 2016. If it's, when it says we get, if it's done, I'll be Accept the license terms. Choose what to keep. Make sure you're ready to install. If it's since this is done, checking for updates, I will be. And there's a problem. Microsoft Security Essentials is not compatible with Windows 10. I'm gonna uninstall this one, and then I'll be back. Yeah, you know what? Let's just click confirm. Yeah, ready to install Windows 10 Home and keep personal files and apps. Yes. Installing Windows 10, you, it, it will restart several times, so this might take a while. So. As soon as this is done installing, I will be back. But before I before I pause, this computer Windows Seven has Windows uh Windows Seven has been receiving major Windows Seven is Windows Vista with all the problems fixed. I I learned that from like a good friend Bingo Cat. Windows 7 fixed all the problems they did in Windows Vista. The Windows 7 recycle bin icon is straight from Vista. With Windows Vista already ended support, it ended on April 11th, 2017. So, as soon as it's done, I'll be back. Installing Windows 10 is already at 3%. I'm going to miss Windows 10 for sure. It was a beautiful operating system was my favorite. Personally, it was a fantastic operating system. So, yeah. 
Wind, Windows 7, the Windows 7 start menu was basically the Windows XP start menu, which is also the Windows Vista start menu. Windows XP support ended already too on April 8th, 2014. So that's why I don't have XP anymore or Vista. Just comp yeah, your PC will start several times. This time I think about so I'll be back as soon as this is So now's installing Windows 10 working on updates. Just go and find something else. Just go, you know, find something else to do, like do something else while you're waiting for this to install. After this is finished installing, I'll be back. And there you go. We're at the Windows 10 desktop. That's basically how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 without a product key. That's all. Bye.